couple years ago, around this time, I began my search for an internship, which is actually a requirement of my degree plan in order to graduate. And I was having a really tough time trying to figure out what the heck I wanted to do for my internship. And then I realized I was surrounded by books, and I liked books, so why not do something with books? So I started stalking the book publishing websites to see if there was any internships available, and lo and behold, some of the best internships available were available. At this point, I wasn't confident in myself at all. I was a small town Texas girl who really had no business being in New York City, but I said, what the hell, and I sent in my resumes. I think it was about a day or two later, I actually got a call from the HR department saying, hey, we want to set up an interview with you. And the next thing I know, I had a second interview with the supervisor I'd be working with. The next thing I know, someone's calling me and offering me the internship. While I was talking professionally on this phone call, I can admit this now, and I'm sorry if anybody from HarperCollins is actually watching this, but yes, I was definitely doing a happy dance around my room. That exact same day, I got my housing taken care of, and I also booked my flight to New York City. Finally, when everything kind of died down, I realized, holy crap, I'm gonna be in New York City for two and a half months. I'm from a small town. I think we have less than 2,000 people living in this town. The most exciting thing that happens is when two people come to the stop signs at this exact same time and they sit there for like 30 minutes trying to insist that the other person goes first. No, you go. No, no, I insist. You go. I'm not exaggerating about this because this actually happens in small towns. If you're from a small town, you know what I'm talking about. I got on the plane, I was perfectly calm, I was cool, I landed, I even stood in line to get the big yellow taxi, which is very much New York. Nope. It didn't hit me until I was on the bridge crossing the East River into Manhattan. There I was in the yellow New York City cab looking out over the river at Manhattan. And then I had a moment that was very much similar to the moment that Rapunzel had entangled. Oh my god, I'm in New York City! Oh my god, I'm in New York City. Oh my god, this is so awesome! I'm alone in New York City. I'm alone in New York City. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I need my mom. This is the best day ever. I'm in New York City by myself. Then we finally made it to my housing and I had my first true New York experience. Instead of my cab driver actually pulling over to the sidewalk, he just stopped in the middle of the street. About this time, a large New York City bus is pulling up behind us and wails on the horn. My cabbie then gets out of the cab, goes up to the window of the bus and starts cursing this bus driver and just throwing the bird left and right while I'm struggling, <laughs> like looking over my shoulder, trying so hard to get my luggage out of the back of the stupid cab. I finally make it inside to safety. While I was the online marketing intern, I got to attend a lot of marketing meetings, including their company sales meetings, where you got to see what books made it to the bestsellers list, what books were doing well. I was also able to attend an actual book release party where my name had to be put on a list because only a select few got to go to the after party, which was really, really cool. They had some of the best food ever. I also got to send out a lot of ARCs and galleys, and I think one of my favorite times is when the interns got together and they actually had a presentation for us. I think my favorite presentation was about designing books. I knew that designing a book cover was a challenge, but I never knew all the small little details that they had to think of when designing the actual book cover. For example, yes, they had to design the outside too, but if you take off the dust cover, they had to design all of this and they showed us all the different types of foils that you could actually choose from. Every kind of color imaginable for this foil. And I just never even really thought they actually had to pick that foil out. And I'm not sure if you've ever noticed, but on the inner s inside of the spine right there, there's always this like sewed in kind of crown right there. I believe it's called the headband. These actually come in multiple colors. Go and check out your books and actually look right there. They have to choose all these different colors and some of them are like checkered, some of them have like little stripes and it's just craziness to think all the things that they have to pick out and choose and design. The designer that they chose to actually present the design covers to us was actually hilarious. She was from Brooklyn 
and I really, really liked it. I think one of the most challenging things for the designers is that they have to design a cover for a book that they have yet to read, mainly because the book is still in production, so it's not actually complete. So the designer has to sit down with the author and say, okay, tell me everything I need to know about this book in order to design you an awesome cover. I also had the opportunity to design some marketing pieces for the authors and their Facebook pages. I'll put a link down below so that way you can check out my Carbon Made portfolio and see some of the items that I designed. Overall, my experience at HarperCollins only solidified my dream of working with a book publishing company because it's amazing. The people there were awesome. Everybody loved books. Everybody loved their job that they were doing. And not to mention, we were in a fantastic city where you could do so much. I had a couple of questions from my last video about my internship and I'm going to answer them now. I'm actually going to do a part two of New York City because here I talked about my internship. In the next video, I really want to talk about my life outside of the internship and all the awesome people that I met and all the places I got to see. But also, I wanted to give the opportunity to those who didn't know I was taking questions about my internship to have a chance to do so now. Please leave your questions down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now that I have my handy dandy notebook, the first question was just XAX hug said, did you get any free stuff, merch, books while working at the publishing company? You bet I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just got a little bit of stuff. Um, this isn't actually all of it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go through all the books quickly. And I'm going to speed it up so this video isn't too long. The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Three of the Wicked Books. Stiltsville by Suzanne Daniel. The Lost Girls. The Hip Girls Guide to Homemaking. Remind Me Why I Need a Man Again. Amazing Love. The Golden Era of Romance Comics. Vintage Shoes. Little Red Riding Hood. And this was actually one of my favorites because they have like some awesome illustrations in here that are just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Look at that. The Digital Mom Handbook, Don't Breathe a Word, The Ninth Wife, The Good Daughters, Miss Timmons School for Girls, which this is actually the book I was able to go to the book release party for. Everything We Ever Wanted, and I actually got to design a little ad space for this book. In case you didn't know, this book is actually by Sarah Shepard, who also wrote Pretty Little Liars. There are some other books, but I really wanted to share with you my two favorites that I got from Harper. One of my favorite books that I got from Harper was the Harry Potter film wizardry book. It has amazing design to it. And this was also during the summer of 2011, so the final movie was coming out. So Harry Potter was very much on my mind. They just had some beautiful design in here. I think one of my favorite pages is actually the Yule Ball, because in this little envelope here, you get an actual Yule Ball invitation. But I think my favorite, favorite thing about this book is the Marauder's Map, which is in this little envelope right here. That just, to me, made the whole book worth it despite the really crazy awesome design. This is a book that I actually got after I left HarperCollins. My supervisor was kind enough to ship it to me, but while I was interning there, this book was actually being designed. And I may or may not have gotten to see some of the raw design files. There's tons of designs and so much information about the film and all of the props and lighting and it's crazy crazy with information and I just loved it. If you're a film junkie and you love Harry Potter, this is the book to get because it's so cool. It has so much information about costumes, which is like my favorite thing. And this is like a massive, massive book. I think I could actually physically harm someone with this book. I know this video is already super crazy long, but I had one more question and I'm going to make it super quick. This is from Becca McClintic. She's a question. How did your internship help you grow as a person? I definitely think my internship helped me gain confidence in myself and my abilities. I sort of just put myself out there and something good happened. Also, it definitely solidified my dreams and my aspirations to work at a book publishing company. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments down below and I'll try and answer all of them in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope I didn't bore you too much. Bye.